first question. Find the rule which gives the number of matchsticks required to make the following matchstick patterns. Use a variable to write the rule. As you have learnt in this chapter, we count the number of matchsticks in order to find the rule. The first is the pattern of letter T, while T is formed by two matchsticks, one is vertical and one is horizontal. So its formula would be 2 into 1 because for making 1 of T, you need 2 of those. Therefore, Tn is the formula to make letter T. For an instance, if you want to make 4 T's, we would require 8. So you can count them, these will come out to be 8 matchsticks. So this is how we do such type of questions. Now we part a pattern of letter Z as like this. So we will count 1, 2, 3. So 3 matchsticks are required to make the pattern of Z. So in order to make 3 of them, we will require 3, 2, 9. So if we count them, they will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So again, when we put into formula, 3, 3 is a 9. So 9 matchsticks. Now a pattern of letter U. Well, U is made up of 3 matchsticks. So if we want to make 4 of them, we will require 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now we can also get it from the formula as well. 4, 3 is a 12. A pattern of letter V as this. So it is made up of 2. If we want to make 4 of them, we will need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 4 is a 2. Again, same thing. Now, for the pattern of letter E, you can count them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, if you want to make 3 of them, we will require 5 to the 15. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, 5 to the 15, putting in the formula. So this is how we make for E. For S, S is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again, the same thing, 5, we want to make for 4 of them, 5 for the 20. We need 20 of them. For letter A, we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we will use 6 matchsticks for this. If we want to make 2, we will need 6 to the 12. So this is how you do your question number first. Second, we already know the rule for the pattern of letters L, C, and F. Some of the letters from question 1 given above give us the same rule as that given by L. Which are these? Why does this happen? So we have to use the question number first in order to solve this question. As you can see, this was the question one and we are given that we have to find the rule for L. Well, we knew from the previous question that it was twice of, it was two times the max fix. So it was two N, it was, it has two. Similarly for T, we need two, Therefore, we will use it. Now for Z, it has 1, 2, 3. This doesn't follow the rule of Tn. This is again Tn, not equal to Tn. Well, V, yes, it is made up of two sticks. E is more than 2. So we will cross it similarly for S and R. So only A and D holds true for T and Tn as it was the case for L. We just have to match with the L. So A and B is your answer. And why does it happen? It happens because the number of matchsticks required in each of them is 2. So this was your question number second. Question third. Cadets are marching in a parade. There are five cadets in a row. What is the rule which gives the number of cadets given the number of rows? Use N for the number of rows. So this is a picture of five soldiers on a row, or five cadets in a row, they are marching. So number of cadets in a row, you can count them five in two rows. Still two rows would be ten. Why? One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Similarly, for two rows, another five of them will be added up. So ten plus five gives you fifty. One, two, three, four, five. For row 4, another 5 will be added, 20, and another 5 will be added for 50. So therefore, carrots up to n row will be 5n, because 5 is the factor here. In order to get, like for example, we need to get for 6, so 5 is 30. If there are 6 rows, 
then n will be used as 6. Now we multiply 6 into 5 is 30. So 30 soldiers. 4. If there are 50 mangoes in a box, how will you write the total number of mangoes in terms of the number of boxes? Use B for the number of boxes. So this is your box containing mangoes and it has to be represented by letter B. So mangoes in one box is 50. It is given to us. So this B box contains 50 mangoes. Now if we have two boxes of same kind, so it would be 50 plus 50 is 100 mangoes. Or you can say 50 into 200. Similarly for 3, 50 into 3, we will take B as 3 in this case. So 150. Now B is 4 for 4 boxes. So 54 is a 200. Therefore, what we can deduce from this, that mangoes in B boxes will be 50 B. For example, if B is 2, then 50 is a 100. We just have to multiply with 50. With a variable. Variable is something that changes. So this was your question 4. Fifth. The teacher distributes 5 pencils per student. Can you tell how many pencils are needed given the number of students? Use F for the number of students. So, this is the diagram that shows that each student gets 5 of them. So, if we have 4 students, they will get 5 plus 20. Now, pencils per student is 5. If there are 2 students, they will get 5 plus 5, 10 pencils. If there are 3, then they will get 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 15 and if 20 then 5 will be added to that 15 will be 20. So what is the rule is as students will get 5 is. So 5 is the multiple because each one is getting 5. So for example if we have 5 students then they will get 5 5 is 25. This was your fifth. Sixth. A bird flies 1 kilometer in 1 minute. Can you express the distance covered by the bird in terms of its Flying time in minutes is T for flying time in minutes. So this is a bird. It flies one kilometer in one minute, another one kilometer in another one minute, similarly another one kilometer in one minute and so on. So for example, for three minutes it will fly two kilometer, for four it will fly four kilometers. We have to just add it. So the speed of bird is given 1 km per minute. It is given in the question. So 1 minute distance is 1 km. 2 minute is, we will add 1 plus 1, 2 km. For 3, 1 plus 1 plus 1, 3 km. For 4, 4 into 1, 5, 5 into 1. So what we have deduced from this, that for 3 minutes, it will fly 3 km. For example, for 10 minutes, it will fly 10 km. Have to use T for flying minutes. This was your question 6. 7. Radha is drawing a dot Rangoli, a beautiful pattern of lines, joining dots with chalk. She has 9 dots in a row. How many dots will her Rangoli have for R rows? How many dots are there if there are 8 rows, if there are 10 rows? So, this is the kind of pattern she makes and she contains 9 dots. Similarly, another will contain 9 and rest follows. We have to find how many dots will a Rangoli have for R rows. We have to make the general formula for that with the help of variables. So it will be 8R. For example, for first 8 means 8, for second 8 means 16, for 3 it will be 8 means 24 and so on. Now how many dots are there if there are 8 rows. Now, variable has value 8. So, R we will take 8 and 8 is a 64. So, she will make 64 for 8 rows. You can also count them if you would like to. Take 8 rows and count them. But it is easy to multiply. So that's why, that's the sole purpose of making such formulas with the help of variables. So, 64 is your answer. Now, there are 10 rows. Simply, R has changed to 10 from 8. It would be then it's a 80. So this was your question 7. 8. Leela is Radha's younger sister. Leela is 4 years younger than Radha. 
in a right Leda's cage in terms of Radha's cage. Take Radha's cage to the axials. So, these are two sisters. Radha is older, Leda is younger, as given in the question. And there is a difference in their ages of four years. So, Radha is obviously elder. So, if she is 20 years, Leda will be 60 years old. And if Radha is 10 years old, Leela will be 6 years old. And similarly, Radha is 5 years old, then Leela would be 1 years old. Because she's 4 years lesser than her elder sister. So if she's x years, then the Leela will be x minus 4 years. So this is the expression that we get from this question. Ninth, mother has made laddus. She gives some laddus to guests and family members. Still, five laddus remain. If the number of laddus mother gave away is L, how many laddus did she make? This is a very easy question. So suppose this is a family and mother distributed L laddus to them. Now, still five of them, you can count them, these are five laddus. So, the question asks, how many laddus did mother make? So it would be simple L plus 5 so given to guest and family L and that is left for 5 if the total laddus made by mother were L plus 5. You just have to add it. That was your 9th. 10th. Oranges are to be transferred from larger boxes into smaller boxes. When a larger box is emptied, the oranges from it fill two smaller boxes and still 10 oranges remain outside. If the number of oranges in a small box are taken to the X, what is the number of oranges in the larger box? So this is the pictorial representation of the question. This is the larger box. The oranges are shifted into two boxes which are filled and still what we have we have 10 oranges left. These are 10 oranges and left. The question asks that we have to take the smaller boxes as x for one box. So we will take one box as x. What does it mean? Another box will be also named as x. So how many total smaller boxes? x plus x is 2x. Now what is the number of oranges in the larger box? So it would be addition of these two boxes plus 10 that were left. We're not able to get filled in these two boxes. The box is filled. So this 2x plus these 10, which were earlier in this bigger box. This was your 10. 11. A. Look at the following matchstick pattern of squares. This is the bigger. The squares are not separate. Yes, they are attached. The neighboring squares have a common matchstick. You can see here. Common. This is common. Common. Observe the patterns and write the rule and find the rule that gives the number of matchsticks. You have to observe and find the number of matchsticks. In terms of the number of squares in this given, if you remove the vertical stick at the end, you will get the pattern of C's. B, this is the figure for the B, gives a matchstick pattern of triangles. As in exercise 11a, that was above, find the general rule that gives the number of matchsticks in terms of number of triangles. So here you can see we have used four matchsticks in order to make, but still the formula will not be 4x. Why? Because one was common. It was given in the question, one is common. If you take the example for two, you can see here it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven matchsticks. Okay, but one is common. So what we'll do if we remove one matchstick. We will get the pattern of C and C has 3 of them. Therefore, what we do is we remove this and make the formula as 3x. So whatever the common is, we will add to that formula. Therefore, this is your C and for C we have 3x. Therefore, 3x came and 1 is for that common side. Now you can also check it. If you place 1 for it, 3 into 1 is 3 plus 1, so it is 4 and A is 4 match. Similarly, let's check for B. It has two number of squares, it acts as number of squares. If you place it, then you get to be the 6 plus 1 is 7. For C, 
we have two boxes, which is a 9 plus 1 is 10, and this is found by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 minutes. So that follows the formula. And for this, we have four boxes, and similarly for the B part. So you got the idea. Now B. Now here we have triangles instead of squares. Again, one is attached. You have to see the attached and use it with addition sign. You have to plus it. Here the formula is not 3x, but it is 2x because one side is common. You can see the common side. Here, this is common. But we are just attaching two matchsticks in order to make another triangle. Here, we have also attached two matchsticks, not three. Two matchsticks, not three. So, the formula would be 2x plus the attached one, one. That's why the formula can be 2x plus one, not 3x. This has to be kept in mind while claiming the formulas or the expression. So, when you use it, so it is 2 plus 1, 3. The first case for B, we have two triangles, which is of 2 plus 1 is 5. So you can count them, these are 5. Now, here we have three triangles. So, 2 plus 6 plus 1 is 7. So, for the D part, what we have, we have four triangles. So, 8 plus 1 is 9. So you can count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is 9. So this expression that we have framed holds true for the given diagram. That was the last question, question number 11.